what's going on everyone today i just wanted to make another update video about my sneaker journey so today as you can see we got a couple pairs out um i am actually consigning almost all these pairs to riff la if you guys haven't heard of them they're a consignment shop in los angeles i reached out to them about a month ago they just got back to me this week about the whole consignment process so they've taken a really long time. I'm not sure if I'm gonna consign everything there yet just because they've taken so long. But if they don't, all these pairs are going to Soul Flyer. Soul Flyer is a local sneaker consignment store. So there's two of them in my area in uh, Northern Texas or the Dallas area. So the pairs that I got, first off, I'll start you off with these two pairs. They're coming cameraman. I got both my Jordan 11 lows. Both these pairs. I sold to uh, someone, the same seller. Uh, they're both my personals. He took both of them off my hands. He wanted them for the toe. And I was like, you know, I wore these religiously and I think it's time to move on. These I only got to wear a couple times, but it's all good. These right here, these are size nine, Nike Donk SB, as you can see, crack leather. They're in pristine condition, lightly worn. If anyone is a size nine and wants some dunks, look at market they're about 400 450 dollars i will sell these to you for a good price there's minimal wear on them i can't get these off my hands so one of you guys if you are size nine you skate you want this just the shoe i'll sell them to you for a good deal just dm me on instagram i'll take care of you i got these right here these are the reverse unc zero women's shoe so you can see they kind of got the patent leather with a nice like baby blue or university blue uh on the toe box and along the shoe as well i think these are super nice i don't think they released in the u.s yet but i've got a couple pairs of these these are six women's these i will be consigning as well i'm not sure where yet i sold a couple pairs to different consignment shops so we'll see like how will they sell there and then from there i'll probably send in a lot more i plan on buying a lot of these the market is cheap they're a really beautiful women's shoe and I don't see why they wouldn't go up. Right here, we got both my Yeezy slides, both size nine, the flax and the bone. I sold these two or pending. They're pending right now, he hasn't paid yet. But a seller came through, he picked up both of them. If he doesn't come through, he seems kind of flaky. I will be consigning these as well, probably at Soul Plier. I've never consigned that Soul Plier. Oh, this brings me to my next point. I've never consigned that Soul Plier. As you can see, all these pairs I got they're basically bricks. I mean, I'm not losing any money if I sell these on StockX or GOAT. So it's not like I'm trying to like liquidate them or I'm trying to just take what I can. I have the Yeezy slides and then my Supreme t-shirts. I sold the black one of these, Andre 3000. And then I got the Thrasher shirt, brick. These are going to consignment for obvious reasons, they're bricks. And then I got my Heritage Jordan 1s. These are a super nice shoe. They're really cheap. I got these for a steal. Like I said in my last video, there's no chance I would lose money on these. So, I mean, consignment prices are crazy. I could probably make a ton. You could, if you just look, look at your local consignment stores and then compare it to StockX, you will see that the prices are way higher in consignment. So I'm gonna consign these and make as much as I can off of them. I got the diamond shorts. I got a pair in size 10 and 10 and a half both these market has not gone up i know you guys saw those resellers on tiktok instagram saying buy in buy in on not only these but i also got right here these are from ebay as you can see some bread toes these are clean but if we look at market they've yet to go above 140. i have four pairs of these right now i'm holding them i've been holding them they're not going up so they're going to consignment consignment prices are high i can make a good amount of money on these and if they do move in my local consignment shop soul plier then i will be buying more and i will be sending them to soul plier uh, in a lot of my videos i do say that a lot of my pairs go to consignment but i've never tried riff la or soul plier like i said soul plier is the local uh sneaker consignment chain you could say so i'm gonna give them a try potentially consign all these because like i said i reached out to riff la for those of you who don't know what riff la is it's just another big consignment store in los angeles i heard they're really great i reached out to them about a month ago with the full size list i had a bunch of essentials to use like you guys know i still have a few of these this one's actually going to uh ebay sold it on ebay 
but I had a huge list of all these shoes basically with a bunch more and then a bunch of shirts. And as you guys know, they took forever. Like I've said, they took about a month. They just reached out to me this week. They called me, they were super nice, but they're taking forever to take my pairs. I mean, I can't really wait any longer just to hold all these to go to Riff. So on Monday, I'll record my little journey going to Soul Plier, but on Monday I plan on going to Soul Plier and consigning all these pairs. So that about wraps it up as far as it goes for an update. I haven't been super active, I haven't really been doing a lot, just liquidating, consigning pairs like you guys know. But I just want to make this video because this is my first time reaching out to Soul Plier, my first time reaching out to Riff LA. So depending on which one I choose, I want to keep you guys updated just so if you guys ever consider consigning with them, you'll know how the process works and you'll, you know, have a bigger or a better understanding than I did when going into this. So thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. So the last section of this video was recorded about a month ago and so right now I'm just recording the end of this video and this is being recorded the same day that this video has been uploaded. Basically I got like sick for a week after I recorded the last part. And I did like college stuff, all kinds of stuff going on. So I haven't really been up too much besides, you know, obviously consignment. So I actually ended up consigning to Riff LA. They ended up responding faster than Soul Plier was willing to take my pairs in. They said they couldn't really do it and I would have to wait a bit. And they riff, they got back to me almost basically right after I filmed the last section when I was like, I'm going to Soul Plier. And so I shipped all my pairs in. They've been there for about a week, week and a half now. So I plan on making a video talking about like the whole consignment process with Riff and then also another video just updating you guys like the inventory, profits, things like that, what's been going on. I haven't really been up to much. Besides um, consigning those pairs in the last section, I have basically just been kind of bringing in pairs, you know, stocking up a little bit for the holidays. So I'll get you guys posted on that, do a little mail, mail call maybe. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I'm so sorry this video took so long to get out. I will have another video, hopefully within the next week, just updating you guys on everything, inventory, stuff like that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.